Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Season Showtime Edition. I'm Landros, and of course here we are in this um, same place we left off, basically. This little lot over here. I like this lot very much. I just never come over here. Quindlin, I know you guys have got gigs and whatnot to do, but let's go ahead and sing with um, Shane real quick. And let me make sure she doesn't... I know Avery's got a job, but look at you. Alright, so um, her work hours, Tuesday night. Oh yeah, she's got to go pretty quick. Oh, she's... Oh, you can't do this, girl. What am I thinking? You're supposed to be at your gig. Get up and go sing. All right, so let's go. And this is a live show venue. Crazy lady. Um, you actually have to go. It's not until 8 o'clock. But Gwendolyn, you got to go. And Shane, I'm going to let you go over here too. Wherever her show is. Let me just look at her real quick. All right, so she's at, the, at Mix. You're going to go over here to Mix as well. And you might as well go with the whole group. Actually, no, 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 no. Disband the group. That way you guys can do what you're only... Okay, yeah, I know she's late. She's extremely late. Well, as long as she gets there before it's over, but... Gwendolyn, get yourself going. Oh, man, I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't. Oh, well, it's my own fault. Okay, you're 30 minutes late. At least this isn't declining or um, deteriorating your job, so... Man, this snow is pitiful. Yeah, Avery, you got to go to your gig. Let's go ahead and get you going because at least somebody will get there on time tonight. And you can actually go over there and see him. Oh, no, you gotta, you got to go to work. Goodness, what, if I was like, what in the world was I doing? All right, just go ahead and do what you got to do. All right, come on in here, Gwendolyn, and... Oh, something was happening. All right, well, we missed it. Okay, I hear them over there singing. He's doing her show. Um, why did our stuff stay on the stage? <laughs> that is too funny. Um, we're going to just use the venue stage. I'm not going to waste it, but that was our stuff. I had no idea it would stay. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. All right, Gwen, get up there. Get changed. Where are all the tables? I guess it gets rid of the tables when there's a show. I don't know. Okay, buddy, wherever you are, you need to just stop singing because you're you're really starting to in irritate me a little bit. Come on, set up your stage. She's trying to figure out what she's going to wear. Well, by the time you get started, your show's going to be over. You've only got an hour and a half. All right. He's on his way. Shane, what are you doing? Something's wrong with you. Finally, man. Oh, you're just too tired. You ought to go home. Okay, look at all this stuff. I guess I did this for the regular one. And that's why I need to fix it, because it's bad. I hate this stage, but anyway. I mean, it's not bad. It's just gaudy. All right, go ahead and... Well, you know what? Perform your song with the guitar. Let's do your signature song. At least you can do it with a guitar. I really need to get rid of all this stuff. It's a bit much. Alright, go ahead, sing your song. And I'm going to go over to check on Avery because at least he's going to make it on time. No, he's not. He's not going to make it on time. He's not moving! <sighs> you know, sometimes you just ought to restart. Avery, your show starts in 10 minutes. And look at where you are. Look at where it is. You are not going to make it. She's doing her show. She's working. Um, I told him to go home. He won't do what I'm telling him. Yeah, I know Avery's late. He was just standing in the snow, didn't know what he was doing. Uh, she wants to go do her job now. She's late for... Oh, okay, we already got that. Avery, come on. Buddy, please. Kick it into high gear. You're 15. Now you're almost 20 minutes late. Well, I can say officially that we should never go do anything on a gig day. Ever. Especially when it takes us this far out of... Um, away from our road. This was a bad idea. But I tried. I was doing something different. I was trying to be, you know, nice to them and build up their relationship and whatnot. But, and we did do that. But unfortunately, we just about destroyed their careers. Well, not really. I mean, we're just, we're not helping them. All right, come on. Get on in here. Go ahead. Set up the stage. Use whatever they got. I'm not even bothered with you. I'm going to go check what she's doing. 
Oh, the people like you. Now watch, she'll probably have a really good show. She'll probably do really well, and we didn't have any time at all. The reviews of your show are in. The singer could be a star. The performance could be a little stronger, but the voice and natural talent are all there. So you actually had a pretty decent show. And you got a really nice smoothlet for it. But you need to go home go to bed. So you go ahead and go on home. We'll go over here and look at uh, how he's doing. Alright, I am not running your show. You're doing it on your own. So you just do whatever you can do. Um... Because it seems like when I do it, you guys do bad. And when they, you do it on your own, you sometimes do it much better than me. Alright, so this is the venue. This is actually fairly simple, fairly simple stage. And you see it's not overdone and tacky like mine over there. Which, speaking of which, I'm wondering... Is she still over there? No, she's gone. I just want to look at something real quick. I, I'm, I'm going to apologize now, but... Um, where's Mix? This is Mix. Let me go look at the stage real quick because if I can take all that stuff off of here, I'll be I'll be much happier. Um, oh no, you can't. You got to do it when you're, they actually have a stage or have a show. All right, so go ahead and we'll just go back over with them. All right, well that just made me that just satisfied my cur my curiosity right there. Okay, come on, go ahead and load all you want to load, but you got to go back over. Alright, well, give me a second. Okay, I just went ahead and came out of edit town mode. She just had uh, got home. So anyway, these guys need they need sleep. Go to sleep. Where are you going? Uh, you've got a bed. Go to sleep. I don't know what his problem is. Anyway, they're all set. Let's see. I bet you can't. Oh, yeah, you can still see the hot tub in there. That's fine. Alright, so they're good. Tabitha. Man, she's smelly and hungry, but she's not that tired, so when she gets home, she can go ahead and eat, and then she can go ahead and take her shower, and we'll work with her a little bit later. All right, Avery, at least you're not in the red or the yellow. All right, who did you get? Don't kill him. <laughs> All right, so who's this guy that helped you out? Craig Elson. Well, that's nice of you, Craig. And he should be finishing up pretty soon. He's got till 11 o'clock, and it's already 10, almost 10:30. All right. Well, we just got to get this going. Oh yeah, I got gifts to accept. That's good. I do want to get those. All right. Good. They're all liking it. That's good. Um, let's see. What do you guys want to do? You want to see something with the wand? Oh, you want to see the wand and the flowers? So if we did that, although you've already started doing this, which is gonna be this guy again? All right. Well, that's fine. Maybe they'll like it. But you're supposed to do whatever their, th their thought bubbles say. And that's supposed to kind of be your guide. Of course, sometimes it's like this. They don't really tell you what they want. But I think they do right after you finish the trick. All right, go ahead, Avery. Get this thing done. Okay, and it looks like the snow has at least stopped. Well, no, it hasn't, but it's not as... Yeah, it's still bad. All right, Avery, finish this thing up. Because you guys have got to get... you got to get to bed, too. All right. All right, how bad's your needs? No, you're not too bad. You're just hungry. All right, take your bow. You are done. Good deal. Let's see what you got. The reviews of your show in, are in. One of the finest magic shows I've ever seen. Avery Nelson could be the next great world famous illusionist. Alright, so you got a good moodlet too, I'm assuming. Oh yeah. So you got a really good one. And now everybody's happy. Alright, so Avery, when you get home, you're hungry. We'll get you to eat something too. Go ahead and have those waffles. And then you can go ahead and take your, take care of your needs. Um, how long is she gonna be working? Oh, she's gonna be there for a while. Oh, we got a gnome. What did we get? Oh, we got the performance gnome. We have Cranston Boots, the magic gnome. All right, I have no idea what the gnomes do. I know you can get a lot of money for them if you sell them, 
And then I know they multiply like crazy. And they move around your house, so you never know where they're going to be. You can put them somewhere, but then they're gone. Yeah, we're ignoring that phone. They just are persistent. They will not give up. Oh, good. Finally. Now, you could actually go out and check gifts. Do you have... Let's see. She's got... Oh, she's got 20. She's got 24. He's got 11. Yeah, you're actually the one that needs the gifts. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll let you use the bathroom first, so at least you get that taken care of. But then you can go find out. Let's see. Get the mail and accept the gifts. You can do that before the bathroom. Then we'll do the bathroom, take a shower, and you should be good. Alright, come on Avery. Speed it up a little bit. Let's get you out here and get this done. Okay, how many more days of this winter do we have? It's already Wednesday. Okay, it's not going to be too long. Then we'll get to go, to go back to decent weather. All right, you got a gift from Aurora. I was thinking about you and thought you might like this. Nah, he doesn't like it. Okay, all the way down to the bottom. This is for Supernatural. We're going to have to wait till that's the next one I'm playing. That's for Generations. Okay, from Hugs Pandas. This is the message from the game. I got a car! I finally got a car! Write it down, put today's date on it. I got a car. Sweet Nightingale, look right there. I got a car. <laughs> of course, mine's probably going to break down. But anyway, we got a car. This is a moment. I just, I think we just need to take a moment. Okay. Moment's gone. All right. Thank you so much. I finally got a car. I can't send anything back. All right. Pandas, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. All right. So I can has cake too. Here, take some stuff. Don't know what it's, what's in it. Hope it's a car. Well, you know, we just got one, so it doesn't really matter. We got a lamp now, so thank you very much. Okay, at least now I know it will happen in my game. Thanks for the sofa. Hope this one is equally special. It's $400. It's very good. It's very special. All right, so from MJ Miller, 1973, we are getting the small ivy. I see this family actually could use the car. Okay, and thanks for the lamp. Here's hoping you get something nice. This is from Amy Wolfsong. We got the Modern Orchid. And I can't send anything back, guys. I'm sorry. From Pimpin' Chronic Surprise. What are we getting? We got the No Snooze Alarm Clock. And let's see what we got. From DJM227. Or, yeah, DJM227. Hey, Landris. Love your LPs. Hope it's bubble bath just so I won't jinx the car. Oops. No, uh, never mind. Please use on Seasons, Ambitions, or Supernatural. Okay. I'm playing Supernatural next, so that's the one that will go to. Thank you guys so much. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am. And you know what? We're going to stop everything real quick because we're going to put that stupid car out. We've got a car. I want to see what it looks like. Ah, it looks just like the little picture. Very nice. That's our car. First and only one I've ever gotten from uh, those gifts that you get sent. Absolutely first time I've ever had one. I just can't take my eyes off it. It's just, it's like, okay, did it really happen? Yes, it did. All right, so very nice. I'm excited. I love it. Um, let's see, you got to come home. You actually, what do you need to do? Oh, he has that engaging one. You need to go to bed. So I'll get you taken care of. Um, who's going to get the car? Well, I guess since he's the one who actually accepted it, I'll let him have the car. Um, probably should be giving it to... Well, I probably should be giving it to Tabitha. Truthfully, I should. Um, just because she's the one who has to go to the hospital every single day. And these guys, they may or may not have to get up. So Tabitha, it's your boyfriend. He's going to go ahead and give you the car. All right. Are you over here? See, the gnome helped us. Everything. I don't know what it was, but we finally got a car. That's probably going to be the title of this episode. I finally get a car. <laughs> okay, and Tabitha got a raise. So she's now a gene therapist. She got a bonus of 1224 uh, She now makes 192 an hour. This girl's killing it. She's on call. She may have to go back to the hospital. That's fine. She made 769 today. Um... Okay, Shane got a love letter, and Darren and Avery are no longer friends. Well, that's okay, Darren. We could actually call him and build that back up real quick. You can meet somebody new, because when you actually are performing, you'll do that. 
Alright, Tabitha, you should be on your way here. Oh, you're already here. Very nice. Oh, that poor little cat. Or is it a dog? I don't know what it is. It's a stray cat. We ought to bring it inside because this is pitiful for it to be out there in the weather. I feel bad. It's... But then we just have to take care of it. And I really don't want to take care of an animal. I'm doing that enough with my pet's LP that I don't need to do it with this one. Alright, so go ahead and eat those waffles. And then I'm going to let you get your shower and get to bed. And when we come back, she's going to take that car out. Although, I... yeah, she is working tomorrow, I think. She's actually could be working later on tonight. No, no, she's off tomorrow. So we'll get her working on something else to get her. Where is she at? She's at level seven. It's insane. All right, guys, I'll be back in just a second. Tabitha no sooner went to bed after she got out of her shower. Now Gwendolyn's up. So it's like, you know, I don't even get a break. So, But she's starving. So I got to get her up and get her something to eat real quick. And then she can take care of all her needs. Um, let's see. She needs to use that. Yeah, she doesn't deserve to being so late. Of course, that was my fault being late at her gig. I'm still excited about our car. I don't know. Probably won't ever get another one, but at least we got one. That was the main thing. Now let me look at see what she's got to do because I know that somebody had two gigs. Oh, let's see. She wants to perform for tips. Well, you can do that. Um, this is Wednesday. She's got a gig. Oh, she has nothing. So we got to go audition. Okay, you on the other hand, Avery. You do have a gig tonight at 8 o'clock, so I can't forget you again. And this is over at Mix. And then Shane, you've got one at Rodeo tonight at uh, 6.30. So it's just it's just Gwendolyn that needs to audition and get a gig. But since she did Mix, um, and what's her career level at? She's at 6. She ought to be able to start going over to those private show venues, which is what I'm going to have her do. Um, for right now, though, I just want her to finish up. Let's see, any skills or anything that she wants to do. She wants to sell albums. We need to go do that. And she wants to cuddle in a hot tub with Shane and ask somebody to join her in the hot tub. Well, that's great. All these, the only one I could really work on right now are these two on the bottom. And I'm trying to think, where could we go where there would be a lot of people and it would be inside and it's open right now? Because a lot of these places are closed. Oh, I know exactly where we could go. Um, well, we could go to the library. We could go to the art museum. We could go to the casino is open. Um, what else do we have? Uh, the consignment store has an open area. Or we could go to this little... We can go to the Cake Pleasure Dome. Um, I'm scared if I go over there, I'm going to be too tempted to gamble. And I don't really want them to gamble. I want them to earn all their money. So I'm going to have her go over here. Because this way, she won't do anything. Plus, if she gets hungry, she can take care of it. Mm -hmm. All right, Shane, you're up. Mm -hmm. You're going to take care of your needs. Do, 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 do. I'm going to let you go ahead and eat, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you come over here. You can take your shower. Uh, let's see what you need to do. You want to go perform the pulling rope trick? Well, if you'd stop moving, I could actually get this set up for you. All right, I'll wait till you stop. All right, acrobats. Um, pulling a rope. How many times have you done it? You've done it once. You just got to do it two more times. All right, acrobat, mime, pulling a rope. That should take care of you. And then do you have your multi-tab? Yes, you do. You're going to listen to Charisma. And what do you want to do with her? Go on a date with her? Well, that'll be a while. All right, you guys are sleeping. He's about to get up. Let me get him set up real quick. He can just go ahead and eat something real quick. He doesn't need much. He wants to reach level six. That's easy. Meet somebody new. Woohoo. Become friends. Um, he's going to actually listen to... Might as well listen to Charisma as well. All right, Quindlin, I'm with you. First thing you need to do is let's get your Charisma up too. And then I want you to perform for tips and get that thing out of the way. Mm -hmm. And I think the store is closed. Nope, he's over here. Seth Monroe. All right, what does she want to do? Clean this water sink. That's not this one. No, it's the one at home. And let's see, you want to make the bed? Alright, well you don't have to do this for very long. But I'll let you do that for a little while until you can attract some people. Then we can actually work on something, on selling some albums. Alright, where are you at, Avery? Oh, you're in the shower. I did tell you to do that. Tabitha, when you get up, all your needs are good, but you need to work on logic. Actually, you need to read this thing first. But let's do logic in the tabcast. 
Oh, stop it. Stop rolling out. You'll do logic here. <laughs> and I love seeing those little deer hop around. Um, then you'll go ahead and read your read your medical journal. That'll get you going. Um, Shane, are you going to do your... Of course you didn't. What's wrong with you? Do your pulling a rope. He's probably going to tell me he's no room in the house, but th that's okay. We can always go outside. All right, well then go outside, buddy. If you're gonna, if you're gonna drive me nuts, I'm gonna send you out here. All right, so we'll go do it here. Pull your rope. All right, fine. Then you're gonna have to go out in the snow. Go out here. I mean, come on, really? Uh, acrobat. Let's try it one more time. Hopefully, you can do it now. What's your, what is your excuse this time? You got none. All right, pull your rope twice, and then what else are you going to do? You're listening to Charisma, and then you can actually just play around in the snow if you want. Yeah, whatever. All right, we're going back to Gwen. Let's see how she's doing. Did you attract anybody? Oh, you did. What we want to do... All right, let's go ahead and do this. Do your friendly introduction to Diane Whitfield, and we'll try to sell her an album. we got to do five of these, which is... It's not that bad. It's just you got to build your relationship with them. And I don't know. Did I give her the lifetime rewards? No, I didn't. Hold on. You know what? We're going to fix that real quick. Um, you need... Engage, engaging would be good, but this is going to help you a lot. Let's go with attractive, and that's all you got. That's all you got. They'll like you more, at least. All right, go over here. Talk to her real quick. Yeah, there you go. All right, as a singer, let's go ahead and sell your album. There you go. Now, you go greet the celebrity real quick. Oh, wait, he's here. Um, why don't you greet him? You already know him. And he'll be easier to sell. Then we'll work with this guy. You know, it's all about which ones you can get done quickest. How many does she have to do? Five? Ugh. Alright. Oh, that's too bad. Um, you can try it. I don't think you will. I don't think he'll buy it from you. Why do I keep stuff? I keep doing that. Greet this guy. Alright, there, there you go. Now sell him an album. Okay, go sell him your album. There you go, you got two of them. And who's this guy? Matthias. Do a charming introduction on him, and then you can sell one. And you maybe can get Priscilla. Do a friendly intro. Oh, wait, not yet. Oh, good, she sold another one. Alright, guys. Well, buddy, we got a job here. Oh, he's attracted to her, isn't he? All right, let's go ahead and sell your albums. Yeah, I know she's got a gig, or she's got a romantic singogram. Go introduce yourself to this lady. If she'd stop. Did he not like it? Oh, he did like it. There you go. Sold your album. That should be four of the five. There you go. So this will be your last one, and then you'll have that wish taken care of. So like I say, if you get the attractive um, lifetime reward, it makes it so much easier. It makes all your charisma skill things just a lot easier because you jump so quickly to almost to friends. So you can see that she just went right to friends with this lady. Oh, wait. i got to tell her to do something. Um, as a singer, sell your album. And she'll buy it. Okay, good deal. You got that one done. Now go do your singograms. You are set and ready. Okay. You actually probably don't have enough to get attractive, do you? No. I don't think anybody else does except for maybe... Um, I think she's already got it. Alright. Oh, you're doing it here. That's good. And I'm not going to forget. you you got to go find a job. Alright, so you're going to make some money off of that. 
Shane, you got yours at 6.30. I know that. He's got his at 8.30. Shane, you got your skill, your charisma skill up to 6? Wow. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell her where to go do her next audition. Um, this one is your live show. She wants to go to a private show. All these are the live venues, except for the porta party And the um, she must not be at that level yet, because I think you've got to be... You've got to be, I think, a level seven or eight. So she's gonna go over here and audition, and at least do these, because she hasn't she hasn't gone here yet. Yeah, go ahead and perform for Aurora Martin. Oh, Tabitha, go to work. Stop reading. Go to work. All right, Avery, what are you guys doing down here with the maid? Uh, right in front of your girlfriend. I don't want to mess around with you too much because I know you got your job, but I'm gonna let you go ahead and take care of what you need to take care of. Let's see, go ahead and take your shower. You can have a nap real quick. Shane, I think you've got a job. Where are you at? Oh, he's in the hot tub. Let me go take a look. That's actually working on his hygiene and everything, so... He's smart. You may be... He may be freezing out there, though. I don't know. No, he's okay. Alright, so she's doing her singer gram. Let me go find out where she's at. No, she's doing her audition, isn't she? I think this is, I don't know if this is the audition or if this is the actual singer gram. I'm assuming that's from our house, and I'm not going to go over and look at it. Alright, what is this one? Yeah, we gotta go do that one too. And this is her audition. Because that should be, yeah, proprietor. Alright, you're going to be busy today. Although you do have your job, I can't let you forget it. Chances are I will. Did you get it? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Don't get this one. Emanate usually does that. It's like it's very hard to get. Well, it's not hard. It's just they're kind of picky. But rodeo should be actually pretty easy to get. So she should have no problem with over there. He's still doing his stuff. Let's see. I need to get him going at about 4.30 or a little bit later. He needs to go at about... Oh, no. She doesn't have a gig. So it's this guy. Um, Avery's got the gig. I need to get him going at around 6. So, yeah, I got some time. Don't have, to, don't have to worry with any of them. Oh, Alright, let's get in here to do our audition. Is that another one over there? Oh, yeah, yeah, who's listening to the kids' music? They're insane. I love that hair. I do. I wouldn't put it on my Sims, but I love to see it on the other ones around town. It's kind of funny looking, but... It's alright, let's see how you did. Um... Okay, good. She got the job. Thursday at 5. All right, Gwendolyn, you should have... I guess he's... He's in transit somewhere. I don't know. Go find the guy. She's a girl on a mission, isn't she? She's still dressed in her... Um, oh, that's her singer's out, her singer costume. All right, there you go. You find her. You, on the other hand, are still sleeping. All right, I gotta, I'm trying to look around 4.30... Somewhere around there. Tabitha, you're almost done. And then you need to go home. I'll just tell you to go home. And when you get home, I'm going to let you listen to your tabcast of logic. And you can continue reading this thing. And hopefully you aren't starving. You're kind of hungry, but you're not really that bad. Again, like I said, we're working with, working with Gwendolyn, seeing what she's doing. Where is she at? Oh, this is the private show venue, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not open yet. Although I could actually make her audition for it, but I don't think. No, that's right. She's not. She's not skilled enough lev at that level yet. But she'll get there. These um, next couple of shows should be good. Yeah, we could come over here on our next day off instead of going over to the festival, because I feel like we keep going to the festival all the time. Um, in all my LPs, but I never come over to this place and I want to come over here at least just to have fun not to perform Alright, did you get this one? Oh no, this is a, this is just singer gram but you can see her singer grams are actually moving up as far as the value What are you doing here? You know what? Why don't you go over and get something at the bar Now sometimes what I do is I actually put a food register in over here and it just turns this into somewhere where they can come over and eat. 
because I don't think they really have tables except for up here, um, but it's not all the time. It's like right before the show. No, they don't. It's not this one. All right, so she's going to watch them. Oh, she's going to talk to this guy. Well, you know what? When you do this, why don't you just do a charming introduction and then sell another album? All right, let's see. Can you sing it more? Sell an album. Why not? We'll make some money. All right. Come on, guy. You're going to buy one from her. You're going to buy from her. You know you are. It's Keenan. He looks scared. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, go ahead. And go ahead and do your charming introduction. I think charming is for romance, but I used it anyway because it seems like it has a better, uh, a better result. Uh, personal space tourist. Alright, go ahead and sell another album. See, this is what the, the magician and the acrobat can't do this. So, as long as you got the singer, you can actually keep doing this kind of stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Everybody stop. What time is it? Oh, Lord have mercy. And here I am sitting going, oh, I'm going to watch the time. No, I didn't watch the time. Get out of the hot tub. You, um, is it too early to go? Yeah, but I'm going to get you over there anyway, just because I will forget you. All right, she's doing her albums. He's getting out of the hot tub, and he's going. Come on. You've relaxed enough, and you needed to pee. Well, you're just going to have to hold it during this show because we're not stopping. Oh, good. She sold it. All right. Oh, look at those lights. Those are pretty. Um, they're all going out of their way. Come on, Shane. Um... Yeah, I guess I just forget. But usually they'll actually do it on their own. But since he was in the hot tub, he wasn't going to cancel out. He would have just sat there and missed the whole show. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to set up the stage, use the venue stage, and then he'll be good. Um, let me just make sure he gets started. Once he gets started and he's on his own, then he's fine. So that'll be okay. Oh, please stop. Okay, he's got the ball now, so um, we do want to come over there and see what he can do with it. All right, Shane, go ahead and use it. That's all you can do is use this one for that one thing. That's the only thing we can actually deal with. And he hasn't practiced at all, so he's probably going to fall. But he's not doing too bad so far. I don't want to jinx him. I probably just did. Okay, that wasn't bad. Still can't do anything else with it. All right, he's on his own for now. I'm going to go over here with him. What are we doing? Set up the stage and use the venue stage. I hate this stage. Actually, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Let's do a custom stage. We'll create a custom stage and get rid of it. Come on, Shane. Or Avery. Get over here and do what I'm trying to get you to do. And this tourist lady better stay off our stage. Oh, of course she's going to get on it. Because she's an idiot. All right, come on, Nate. Get off the stage, woman. Oh, sometimes they just drive you nuts. All right, go ahead and set this thing up. Let's see what we can do. I told him to do it, and he's just not going to do it. All right, let's see what we got. Well, you know, I don't want all that craziness that I had, and for some reason it got locked in as our stage. I mean, I can always fix it. Um... Let's just get out of here. I mean, that's pretty That's pretty bad. Would you like to save this for... Oh. That's what I did wrong. Um, Nah, we're not going to save it. <laughs> you got a really bad stage. <laughs> that's alright, Avery. Just get that show over with. He's still doing his thing. Alright, Gwendolyn, what are you doing? Playing? Are you on karaoke right now? Oh, who are you singing with? Brandon Woods. Do you know this guy yet? Do you actually know him? Oh, no, you don't even know him. But she needs to go eat, and she needs to go to the bathroom. Now, her bathrooms are over here. Go ahead and use that. And then I'm going to send you over to the coffee house and let you go ahead and eat. Tabitha, where are you at? You're at home. You're not playing computer games. Please tell me you're doing what I told you to do. No, you're not. Let me get closer in on you real quick. 
I mean, I, I know that you just worked. You worked really hard. But you do need to, or maybe you did it. Yeah, you did it all. Okay, here I am complaining about you. You did just fine. Um, but what I want you to do is, since you know how to cook really well, not you. Um, I want you to come over here, and I want you to serve up. Ooh, hot and sour soup. Okay, poor guy. What's wrong with you over here? Well, you're doing the best you can on that pitiful stage. I probably ought to just go in and replace out the whole thing, but for right now, it's okay. Let's check on Shane real quick. Well, Shane, you're doing fine without me, so I'm not going to worry about you guys. And Gwendolyn, you're eating and going to the bathroom, so you're good. All right, you keep juggling. You keep disappearing. Yeah, I don't really watch. I mean, I don't really mind all this. It's when he gets the box of danger, which that's the one that scares me because he can die. So when he gets that one, that's when I just kind of go, "Oh, this is not good." All right, go ahead. But I do like when he can start doing some of his other tricks. But right now he's not getting anything. And then of course, um, Shane's going to get his ring of fire, which will be good. Oh, she looks like she stank. All right, who is this? Uh, we don't care about that. Charmaine Woods and Shane Murphy. All right. Shane, you're just losing friends right and left. All right. Okay, you're going to still do that again? Can you do anything more with it? No. We're going to have to practice with it. Which he should be able to practice with it, but with the snow and everything on the ground, it kind of makes it a little, little hard to do. All right, well, they're happy. They're liking his show. How long has he got to go? He's got to go till 11. Shane, you have to go until 9.30. You're just about done. Actually, you are done. So let's go over here and see how you end up. Oh, they didn't like whatever you just did. All right, so you made 1500 and let's take a look. The reviews of your show are in. One of the best shows I've seen in ages. I was hoping to see something terrible that I could make funny comments about, but it was just too good. All right, very nice. You guys are all having pretty decent shows so far. Um, you know what? Everybody else has ridden the bull. Why don't you go do a... You can go do the crazy cowboy. I did say crazy cowboy, yeah. And I'm sure he's hungry. No, he just needs to go to the bathroom. When you're done, you can go to the bathroom. I think that's the guys. I have no idea. I have no clue. All right, go ahead and ride the bull. <laughs> Well, he's doing better than Avery did. For now. For now. It may change pretty quickly. Nope. Yeah, it didn't last long. Didn't last long at all. <laughs> Poor guy. All right. Well, you go ahead and take care of what you got to take care of. You did that. That was fine. How much more longer do you have? Wow, you've got till 11. Well, it's not too much longer. It's got 30 minutes. Gwendolyn, I have no idea what you're doing. I'm going to go over there real quick and see, can you, well, sell, oh, you can't do anything with her? Okay, well, you ought to go home, and you ought to go home. Oh, yeah, there goes my timer. All right, well, I want to at least let um, Avery get his job done, so we see how he did. Come on, let's finish this up. Good deal. He's, he's done. Let's see how he did. $1,200. Okay, not as much as everybody else. One of the best shows I've seen in ages. Okay, hoping for something terrible, but it was just too good. All right, good. Everybody got a good show. All right, you go ahead, and when you get off the stage, you can head home. Of course, you got to wait for a minute. Um, no, 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 no. Sorry, I would, but not going to. Come on, uh, if you'll just step a little bit further away. There you go. You should be able to go home now. Now you can go home. All right, let's see. Tabitha, you're in the hot tub. All right. Shane, or Avery, you can go ahead and get into. And Shane should be home. Oh, he's going to watch her play the guitar. All right, that's good. You guys can do that. That's fine. All right, guys, I think what I'm going to just go ahead and end the part here. I think it was a really good episode. They had um, three really good reviews for their show. Um, we got a car, spotlight, 
there we go. I mean, it's almost hidden in the snow, but we got a car. And regardless of what happens, anything else that happened in the episode, that made it all a really good one. So, all right, guys. Make sure everybody's home. <laughs> okay, they're all good. Thank you all so much. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the the wishes for the car because we finally it's finally paid off. Um, now, if my generation's family could just get something because they need something bad. All right, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.